Hi, in this screencast we're going to take a look at some of the new features available in ReSharper C++10 and we're going to begin by looking at the C language support. So as of this version of ReSharper C++, we now provide comprehensive support for the C language. And this includes the typical features you find in C++, so things like, for example, being able to navigate to a particular function or the support for refactorings. And ReSharper also includes language-specific support. So for example, if I make an instance of this struct, ReSharper is doing a pop-up saying that I should have the struct keyword in front of it, and I can press Alt-Enter to do exactly that. ReSharper also supports designated initializers. So what I can do here is I can start with a dot and start typing the member names of the nested elements, like so. And ReSharper offers code completion throughout the whole process. ReSharper C++ 10 comes with many inspections as well as associated fixes, so let's take a look at some of them. For example, here I have a variable called result being defined in terms of a decal type of another variable. What I can do with ReSharper is I can click on the decal type, press Alt Enter, and actually replace the decal type with the underlying type. You'll notice that the function solve doesn't really affect the class it's in, so if we press Alt Enter on the function, we have two options. One option is to make the function const, which adds the const specifier, and another option is to simply make the function static, like so. So I have an equation solver here. Let's imagine I want a derived class. What I can do is press Alt Enter and I can generate a derived class right here. And let's call this advanced solver. So this class requires a constructor because it just so happens that the base class actually needs a constructor which takes a parameter. So I can press Alt Enter here and I can actually generate a constructor and ReSharper makes one for me automatically. ReSharper C++10 comes with new functionality related to search and navigation. For example, here I am standing on a usage of a function called calculate, and let's suppose I go to declaration. So what happens is I do indeed go to the declaration of the function. If I press go to declaration again, I would go to the actual definition, but if I press the navigation shortcut one more time, it gets me back to where I started. Now if I press the shortcut once again, then ReSharper would go off and it will actually go and look for the usages of the function. So you can see two of the usages here, and we also present this pop-up where you can cycle through the usages and navigate to each one of them. Incidentally, if you are standing on a function parameter, then going to the declaration of this parameter will switch you between the declaration and the definition, as can be seen here. Now here we have an example where we have a template struct with a time parameter t, but then we're reusing, so effectively shadowing this parameter in an inner struct as well as a function. Well, what ReSharper lets you do in addition to a wealth of fixes is to actually navigate to the template parameter which is being redeclared, and this takes you to the original symbol. And finally, we've added an item to the Navigate To menu to show the includes hierarchy. There are two new code generation options in ReSharper C++10. The first is that when you have a function which hasn't been implemented yet, you can always go into Generate Definitions, but what we now provide you is the ability to generate inline definitions. So if we pick the derived class function here and we press Finish, you'll see that the function body has been generated inline rather than in the corresponding CPP file. Another code generation option concerns Google Mock. Now, if you're using Google Test and Google Mock and you have a base class which has virtual members, what you can do is make a mock object which actually inherits from the base class and then use ReSharper's menu to generate the Google Mock methods. And this will show you a list of all the appropriate functions. You can pick them, press finish, and you get the appropriate mock declaration. So these are some of the new features available in ReSharper C++10. And to find out more about ReSharper C++, go to jebrains.com slash ReSharper cpp. Thanks for watching.